Hey there everybody in YouTube land, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're going to be quickly going over the difference between GDP and GNP. Now GDP and GNP are pretty similar, so when we're calculating out the numbers, we're actually going to get numbers that are pretty close. But there's a big difference. GDP is looking at our gross domestic production, and what we're focusing here is goods that are produced inside a country's borders. GNP is looking actually at everyone who would be a citizen of the country, regardless of where it's made. So an example of this would be, let's say I was a car company, let's go with Toyota. Toyota decides to build a plant in the United States. If Toyota built a plant in the U.S. and they're producing cars in the U.S., that would be factored in the U.S.'s GDP. However, it would not be part of our GNP because Toyota is not an American company. Toyota's GNP would be factored into Japan's because they are a Japanese company. On the other hand, we could also look at a different example. Let's say that we have Ford, an American company, who decides to produce cars in the U.K. They move some plants over there, they're now producing cars, and they would no longer be factoring in, at least the plants that moved, in the U.S.'s GDP. Because U.S.'s GDP is focused just on what's going on in our country. However, they would now be part of our GNP. The important thing to remember for the GNP is you're going to take your gross domestic production, or GDP, and what we're going to do then is add any foreign production from citizens, from natural citizens or companies then who are American or whatever country we are talking about. So that's the main difference between GDP and GNP. GDP, remember, it's within our country's borders, any production at all, and GNP, it's anything that is outside that connects back to then citizenship. So the country citizens are abroad, they're producing, factored into the GNP, not the GDP. Hopefully these examples helped better illustrate these two concepts. If you have any questions at all, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and until next time, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you online.